Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well as well as staying safe. I'm Pranay Prem from Maisa Magazine. Maisa's guest for the day is a video content creator who is also a gifted writer as well as an artist. She loves the lighter side of life and the same can be seen in her witty and entertaining reads which are viral at the same time receiving rave reviews. She is none other than Kajol Kapoor. And everyone, if you're loving the content from this channel, don't forget to hit the like button and also a sub to the channel would truly be appreciated. Thank you. Hi Kajol, how are you? Hi Pranay, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing excellent. Okay, so let's start off. The vibe in your viewed videos are simply tremendous. When people worry every day regarding various things, how do you reach this kind of idea of making people smile? So I myself, I'm a warrior. I worry a lot. I get very stressed and stuff. And I just wanted to make the kind of content I want to see. So my target audience is usually myself. And uh, I'm always joking around. I'm hardly ever serious and stuff. So uh, I guess, I don't know. I just don't like to take life too seriously. Um, so that's why. <laughs> Okay, nice to hear. So, yeah. you, you literally do everything that most people like, whether it be cooking the food you love, going to places you enjoy, and sharing your true vibe. So, what prompted you to be so open and natural? So, it wasn't my intent, like, it wasn't something I did um, intentionally, like being open and natural. I just like expressing myself and I like being on the camera. So I just kind of do whatever I feel like doing and saying whatever I feel like saying. And I guess that if that comes out, if that comes across as open and natural, and that's amazing because uh, I think it's good to see people be themselves uh, on the internet because a lot of stuff on the internet is very fabricated. Uh, sometimes it's far from the truth. So as much as possible, I, I like to be myself. So yeah. And talking about your reels, they're like highly popular, very much viewed. So how did you come up with the ideas of reels? And what about long videos, making long videos? So which do you prefer basically? Okay, so I actually started with long videos. I would make vlogs very irregularly and I started making baking videos. Um, but I think when as the internet evolves, you have to kind of adapt your, or your kind of content to what people are want to see. I think people's attention span is very little. They like to consume a lot of content in a very short period of time. And I also started doing that. I started watching a lot of reels and I, I used to get very intimidated because I thought I'm, I won't be able to make short content. I'm mostly uncomfortable in a long form. But one day I just picked up the camera and I just tried it out. And I think, over, I think it's been three months now since I started. And I think my content has evolved over time. I'm sl slowly figuring out the space I want to be in. And yeah, so I think now I prefer, uh, like right now I prefer short form because um, it's, I can do it in one hour. Um, like it takes me an hour to shoot, edit and post the reel. So it, it, I, I can balance my job and make videos. So that's why I'm preferring uh, short form these days, but I do have plans on reviving my YouTube channel and going into more long form content. And uh, the content for your reels, like how do you base it on? Is it based on audience reception? Or the feedback not video. really like sometimes it is like uh, i have boss and employee reels which are really popular sometimes right. i get a dm they'd be like talk about an appraisal talk about uh, uh working on your notice period and stuff so i try and incorporate that but that's only if i can think of a script so if it's something that i totally can't even think of then i won't do it but if i'm able to think of something funny around that then i will do it so yeah i just have a notes app i write it down i write down one funny sentence and i kind of build around that so yeah yeah, so like talking about the script, like is it an instantaneous one or like do you ask suggestions from your or get suggestions from your friends and family or like you like so, jot down every uh -huh. or what, how do you do it? How do you go about your script process? So uh, I write them all myself, but I do take help. So I will write down a script and I have a group with my cousin, her name is Vani and my mom. So this group is called Helping Kajol Be Funny. Okay, it's on WhatsApp. And I will send them screenshots of my script. 
so they'll be like this line maybe you can change this part or they will they, they will say this ending is funnier than what you've written or they sometimes when i'm really lucky or when i've written a really good script they'll be like very good make it make it make it so it's a morning tradition either i write the script in the night or early morning before sleeping or right after waking up because that's when i shoot so i'll send it then i'll be like reply 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 and then they'll reply and then uh I, we figure from there so i find it she, my mom is slightly like she's older obviously and my cousin is around my age so i get a balanced view about the content for like an age range you know what jokes will work for both kind of age groups so it's based on that yeah okay then in the world where people are striving to do something grander to attract the audience what do you have to tell them i would say if you like doing big grander things go for it but i wouldn't uh, say it's compulsory sometimes as beauty and simplicity and everyday life is beautiful in its own way so even like i would say don't put pressure on yourself to have to achieve such big things or do such big things just be yourself and do what you love and everything will be fine that's my opinion i don't know yeah <laughs> okay so you have also have a professional job right so yeah how do you balance between your professional job as well as making content in instagram um so i wake up really early i wake up at around 7:30 8 am and my work starts at 10 am so between that before work i have a time frame where i eat breakfast take a shower um make a reel and by the time that's done i still have an hour to chill before i have to start work so initially i would struggle with this because i didn't have a schedule in place i used to just think when do i i shoot some so then i would be posting reels at like 10 in the night 11 after work is over but that wasn't working for me at all. so i prefer to do it that way because if i do it in the middle of a work day that's i don't think that's correct to do and um i won't be able to focus on work so when i'm working i just want to work and when i'm making content i want to make content it's like that and uh, like in the long run so do you see yourself working in a professional like corporate job itself or like uh, in a free fledged like uh, doing insta reels so which do you prefer like being a content creator or making content for others as i should say yeah no so for like a lot i think my job really pushes me creatively um we have like i'm i work with a lot of really talented people who are so creative and i get inspired by them like uh and i think even when we're brainstorming for an idea for a brand we'll have calls every think of ideas so i think my work keeps my my brain active and it keep it pushes me creatively so that has a positive in fact impact on being a content creator so right now for as like right now i would say that i want to do both things and uh, see where it goes for now yeah this i just want to continue yeah so like you're very much comfortable in front of the camera so in your childhood also were you like this uh, very very comfortable or like when uh, i mean after you become like what's a, what's a, let's say in your teenage days okay i'll try this out how how was it how was your feeling like so i was always uh, obsessed with the camera i have so many photo shoots my mom has done on those film ca- film cameras that used to exist and i'm just posing and i'm probably at 3 or 2 or 3 years old and i was obsessed I remember we got a digital camera I wouldn't leave it alone and uh, I used to go to my best friend's house and we would play music and she would record me acting it out very embarrassing but I was always obsessed with the camera and which is why I ended up going to film school because I wanted to learn it and I wanted to like get to know stuff so it was always I was always like obsessed so yeah so from in childhood itself we were born to be on the camera right <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 always <laughs> so you said that you only recently started making insta reels so in this short period of time how have you faced criticism i mean in a neg- is, uh, is criticism something that you get often regarding reels and how how do you tackle it so um i think in the first few times i got negativity i was like my day would get ruined i wouldn't feel like posting the next day i would obsess over it i would talk to mom talk to my cousin and be like man they said this and all and they just they just said kajol you are putting yourself out there this is a part of it so either learn how to do it because it comes with the like it comes with the territory or if if you can't really can't handle it then you should stop doing this and i didn't want to stop doing this so now when i i get an average of one or two hate com I get like one hate comment a day okay the love overpowers it but yeah, oh, that stays one day right <laughs> yeah 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 and it sometimes it's just something really mean that makes no sense 
and if it's feedback or they like you could have made this line funnier or next time make a read on this this is better i am totally open to feedback but when people comment saying bakwas i click not interested i don't want to ever see your face again then that really hurts i was literally a comment someone put on my feed yesterday and i'm like dude if you hate it go away uh like why are you telling me that you're not interested you're taking time out of your day but i guess this is the internet and like it hurts me for a bit but i'm still learning how to develop a thick skin because if if my audience grows now it will just it's just going to increase so yeah it's definitely increasing and your content is really superb i must say i i i'm <laughs> so following personally and yeah your content is <laughs> Thank you so much. So, lastly, Maisa Magazine's ambition is to provide a platform for underrated Indian artists of all over India to be recognized for their talent. So, what advice do you have for the ones who want to make or become an overnight star? Um, I think it's very less chance of becoming an overnight star. uh i think it's better to work towards your goals slowly because not only will you learn more about your field but you will discover a different side of yourself you will see how you can adapt yourself you will get better at it basically like if you compare my first video to my last video there is so much difference and this is just in like 3 months so i think it's better to work towards your success slowly rather than expect overnight success i remember wanting to go viral every time i posted a video i was like i need to go viral i need to go viral and then i was like why i'm like it's better to develop like a nice solid small community first and you know bounce off your content off of them and then figure where you want to go and one more thing i would say is i don't think you should like look for a large you shouldn't strive for a certain number of followers in the beginning you should just enjoy yourself and do it because you love to do it then it'll reflect in your videos and i think if your talent is successful will follow so yeah and just uh, looking back on what you said you said like so is it like taking baby steps regarding the content or regarding your channel so what what yeah. do you have to say about that to your viewers so like is it a step by step uh, process or like you should like every time do some content like okay this will become a huge hit this will become a blockbuster so do you do like that or like take it as it goes i take it as it goes i i never know which video is going to get a lot of views the first video of mine that went very viral uh, i think got like some 3 4 million views um that i had posted as a story i hadn't even made a reel it was just a story and i found it funny and everybody messaged me not everybody like three four people messaged me saying post this as a reel and that went super viral so what i'm saying is if you keep trying to go viral you don't know what the, what works on the internet like you can fo- follow a formula and stuff but you you anything can go viral which you don't expect it but if to be unique you'll have to put your own voice out there not try to like uh, follow some kind of formula which you think will get you success just enjoy the process keep thinking and yeah do it consistently and you'll learn how to be viral or successful or whatever so thank you so much uh, kajol kajol with the c i should say yeah thank you so much yeah. pranay it was such a nice yeah. interview i had such a i had so much fun yeah yeah we do it was really fun and interactive and i hope we can do this again very very soon and i, I hope you, so too yeah and myself and maisa magazine which is all the best All Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye.